Arne. Welcome in the crew of the Painting Pirate. My name is Captain Shortbeard. This tutorial is meant miniature painting for beginners and is directed to people who want to inform themselves about the hobby by YouTube. What every beginner wants to know is, what do I need for the hobby and what will it cost? For your first attempt, it's not very much. You need brush. A cheap set of 12 different sizes cost 1 euro 30 at the supermarket. Colors. I recommend blue, red and yellow in a mid-tone. Additionally black and white. For this tutorial I use Calidor Sky, Mephiston Red, Flash Kids Yellow, Abaddon Black and Ceramide White from Games Workshop. Per color this is 3 euro 30. Then you need a kitchen roll a piece of baking paper, a plastic cup, a flat plastic box for around about 3 euro alternative, an old plate and at least a miniature. You can find single miniatures for 5 to 80 euro in the internet. For this tutorial I used a miniature from a Kinder Überraschungsei. You can also take one from a fast food menu. This is all approximately 26 euro in sum. First assemble the miniature and clean it well with water and soap. While it is drying you can prepare your workbench. Protect the surface with a piece of paper. Humidify a piece from the kitchen roll and lay it on the plastic box and press the baking paper towards it. This is called a wet pellet. We will mix our colors on it. The humidity in the kitchen paper prevents the colors from drying on the baking paper. At last, fill a plastic cup with water so you can later clean your brush in it and lay down another piece of kitchen paper. Now we can start. Usually the miniatures we paint are made of grey resin or tin. No matter what material your miniature is made of, it is still a good idea to prime it black or white. There are special spray cans for that purpose to make this job easier for us. To spend money in this tutorial I prime it with a brush and regular black color. Give two drops black or white color on your wet palette and thin it down with water until it becomes the viscosity of liquid cream. That is approximately a ratio of 1 to 1 up to 1 to 2. If the color is not covering the surface completely, it's not a mistake. Let the prime color dry and paint another layer. To speed up the drying process, I use a hair dryer. After the primer is applied and dry, I start with the real painting of the miniature. First the skin. Skin tones are available in a huge amount of shades. If you are following my purchase list, you do not have any one of them on your table but that is no problem. You can easily mix it with the colors you have bought. Take yellow, red and white in a ratio of approximately 2 to 1 to 2. Again I thin it down with water to the viscosity of liquid cream and apply it in a thin layer to the miniature. The first layer did not cover, the second was better but not perfect. It is still better to paint more layers than take thicker color. Too thick color will lead to streak pattern on the miniature and the loss of details. Pay attention not to take too much color on your brush. Wipe it on the kitchen paper to remove the excess color and to form a sharp tip on the brush. Watch also for only wetting the forward half of the brush with color. That will extend the lifetime of the brush and its tip. After the fourth layer, the skin is finished. I continue with the dress and the shoes in red. Then the belt and the handbag in blue and the hair in black. I need two layers for each color.
If you want to paint other colors than red, yellow or blue, you can mix them. Green of blue and yellow, orange of red and yellow, purple of red and blue. Furthermore, you can shade every color with black and lighten it up with white. Here you can see me painting the face. As you can see, it is not easy for me. That is the disadvantage of the cheap brushes we use in this tutorial. They have no sharp tip, so it's nearly impossible to paint precise lines. If you want to get in deeper into the miniature painting hobby, I recommend to buy brushes made from natural hair. This is my finished miniature. I know it's not very good, but it's a realistic impression what a raw recruit can await from his first try. With a little more practice and the knowledge of some painting techniques we will show you in this video channel, your miniature could look like this soon. Under www.painting-pirate.net you will find a written version of this tutorial with some additional hints for you. Just go to the tutorial menu, there will be an English section. If you like our service, please click the like buttons under our blog postings, on Facebook or YouTube, subscribe to our channel and become part of the Painting Pirate crew.